my dad um, owned this place and uh, my husband and I bought it about 2005 and uh, he never would let me have goats so uh, he's dead and gone and so I bought 10 goats and uh, that started in 2006 and now we have about 130 goats and uh, I'm in goat heaven here. One of the biggest challenges that uh, we faced starting off was uh, keeping the goats on the farm. So uh, uh, anybody that wants to start goats, the first thing you got to have are good fences and uh, good electric fences, not just a normal old charger. You got to have one that'll put out some heat. And so my husband and I went to several different goat operations just to look at the fences and to look at the care that they gave the goats. So we investigated that. We uh, read a lot of material on uh, what is the, the right feed, you know, what is the right nutrition. They have to have, uh, you know, copper where sheep can't have copper. And, and you read all the materials to educate yourself about what is the best nutrition for goats. Uh, Lincoln has uh, helped us quite a bit. Uh, their staff and uh, associates have uh, made several presentations at different goat association meetings and one in particular, Jeff Yarrington, who's no longer with them, but he was a goat specialist and he helped us a whole bunch. He uh, taught us uh, lots about uh, pest infestations with goats and, uh, and he got us on to this uh, breeding program of uh, using Spanish goats, Spanish billy goats, for, uh, uh, to breed uh, boar nanny goats. And the reason for that is that the Spanish goat doesn't have as many traits to pick up these pests as the boar goats do. And that has held true, that the genetics coming through this billy, Julio, uh, has helped the goats be less uh, parasitic uh, as far as the worms go. They don't have as many parasites. Well, we, we uh, try to keep the goats uh, in a grazing program. We've got about 160 acres here and uh, uh, we try to keep them, rot the pastures rotated where the grass stays four to four inches or above higher. Uh, that way they, they don't pick up as many pests. So uh, for anybody that, uh, uh, my suggestion if you're in the goat business, you gotta have enough ground to, to raise boar goats because uh, if you confine them, uh, they're sick all the time. Anytime I have a question, I can call Lincoln University and uh, they will come out here or they will answer uh, your, your questions about goats. So uh, I feel like I, I have a nucleus of support around me pretty much all the time. So that is good when you've got a herd of this size.